I'm back, Gaia. Hello. Aloy. Aloy. I have managed to unlock an like additional room near the servers. Understood. Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zoe. I believe we may have a workaround. Yeah, I'm helping her out with that. There's something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Pharaoh Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines then. The Zenus, Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing. But with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins... I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha Clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega Clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, 
I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run, but I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided, water sources have been purified, and soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus, then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system, without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Pharaoh agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreaths before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is.
I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species, including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that we need a Festus. It's something to look into later then. See you later, Gaia. Until next time. Immortals from the stars now? Looks like it. What's next? Wizards from the moon? That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Well, no one said this was gonna be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so. Let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zoe coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. While Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing, it's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react and the Karja and well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega Clearance, and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging Thunderjaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch if I need anything. I'll make sure Beta briefs everyone on the pulse generators. Good. That... 
Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touch the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Catalo. Leave aloud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in Plainsong, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so I promise. Well, how should get going? Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with Old World machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. 
By the ten, we shall see it through. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. What do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. negative all the time. I mean, we're clones of the same woman, and yet... She couldn't be more different from Elizabeth. It's you. Hey. Me again. Was there something else? So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest, without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just... try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling, and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? 
Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zenus couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zenus never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. That's enough for now. Good. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. I wonder where this leads. Did it? Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. I should take this upstairs.
Was this door always locked? Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. Okay. Looks like a power cell could fit here. Okay. That console has power now. I've got to be more careful. Jensen almost caught onto my plan while we were going over the Diagnostic Center specs. I've got nothing against the rest of the team. It, it's just... I'm sure they've all got family they're gonna meet up with in Elysium. But me? I couldn't even bury August. There is nothing of him left besides my memories. I won't let those blink out of existence, too. The vault's for us, no one else. Eleven more weeks before we lock the blueprints. Then the rest will be up to Gaia. Vault. I found a locked door behind the vent in the basement. I wonder if that's it. From the looks of this data, Festus has been trying... ...trying to hack into the repair bay. Ah, okay. Doesn't look like it's been able to. So you like hearing me butcher Utaru music? I sure don't. You sound like a dying long leg. Ed, you won't believe what Hey, Loy. It's a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. A buddy of mine told me about a Karja expedition down south. A place called Jagged Deep. They think there's something special in the big lake down there. Old world relics of some sort. Too bad machines decided to spoil the Dell for everyone. Sounds like bad luck. Karja might have found something interesting down there. Uh, be worth checking out. So sad this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. I better be careful. I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. That looks like something... fried them. Whatever did it might still be around. There's the land god. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. I use that heavy weapon if I can tear it off.
That's all the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. Stormbird. Must have been what killed those Utahu. I should install this code on that land god.
Let's try this again. Nice and easy. One down, two to go. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. <laughs> the best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A Stormbird got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. All right, then. I'll head to Plainsong and deliver the code to the land gods there. There. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. The land god must be down there somewhere. Time for a swim. I think the land god is underneath that rubble. I think the land god is underneath that rubble. We better stay away from that snap mall. I can grab this from my stash later. God dealt with. Hey, Zoe? Aloy, how goes it? 
Had to swim a bit, but I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, with wine made from elderflowers. When I was 12, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. It would be good to see So again. Plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy. Let's take a look. Gotta climb up to that land, God. It looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But where there's vines, there's a metal flower. Just have to find it. There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. I'll have to find a way. There we go. Should be able to access that cave now. Treadwing carcass. Must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. Looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. Now I just need to get rid of these vines. That's better. Time to get this code installed. This'll help you get better. That's the last land god. Zo, can you hear me? I can hear you, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter. So his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth. Snuggling for warmth and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. When you can, meet me at Plainsong and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. Old world ruin. Might have something useful lying around. I should take a look inside. Doing better than yesterday, I hope. It is some kind of honey. Any of dangers out there, stranger. What is she doing to La? Aloy, you made it. All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal.
A new beginning. Gaia told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. Zo, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. Zenith Labs around here. That's where Catalo said we'd find what he needs to build himself a new arm. I should let him know I'm around. Hey, Catalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. The lab's up this way. You okay? I got this. Scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Well, we can sneak past them. No point using Good fire against that. Catching snowflakes on my lashes. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on.
The anime did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. Enemies up ahead. We better get a move on. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. Okay then. Is that it down there? Yep. We better make our way down there. This will break my fall. We're here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database guy was talking about. Zoro mentioned you found beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. Barely even to breathe. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Fight with honor! Time to follow up! Hit that weak spot! 
The Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. A vent. Might be a way out of this room. Components have to be here somewhere. Please tell me the components are in there. I should go back and get these to Catalo. You found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <laughs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the Ten. Yeah. 
Gently. You're back. Good. Before we talk, I wanted to give you this. For helping me heal the land gods. Plainsong is in your debt. Thank you, Zo. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And yours? How'd it go with the chorus after we fixed the land gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. I should go. Back to studying it is. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. Alana must have left this for me on her way back east. I wish she could have stayed. But I know Meridian and the Lodge need her. What? Nothing. You just look good, that's all. Get back to study. You were gone for a while. How's it going with the arm? It is nearly complete, but I'm still adjusting the fittings. Soon, I must test it. Looking forward to it. I should leave. Proceed with caution.
Going down. Going down. Okay, gotta grab the drone's data. Must be the people over. Your actions are known across the lowlands, Easter. You've aided our marshals and our chief. I, for one, am grateful. So I'll tell you what. What I see, what I know, I will share. That way you won't be running blind in these parts. I should probably tell you. If you travel to the coast southwest of here, you might run across a cauldron hidden in the jungle. I'd stay away from it if I were you. It looks dead and overgrown, but where there's a cauldron, there's usually some dangerous machines. Thanks for the heads up. That cauldron might have machine overrides I could use. I should check it out when I can. This must be Fall's Edge. Katala said I could resupply here and head for the Quinn Ferry. Welcome, Lord. All blades against Rex. An honor, Champion. I'm Nako. Have you been out to the Valley of the Fallen by chance? Don't think I have. Why? What's there? My idiot little brother. The Valley is a test of endurance and skill from my clan, the Lowlanders. But it's been closed for months. Commander's okay. orders. There have been reports of strange lights off the coast, and the whole area is crawling with deadly machines. But Dax, reckless and bare-armed as he is, went in any way. Never takes no for an answer. Convinced two others to go with him, too. They've been missing for days, and now Marshal Ivira has been sent in to bail them out. Strange lights, deadly machines, and missing soldiers? Sounds like a lot, even for a marshal. I'd go by myself, if I wasn't stuck on transport duty. I'll find your brother, if I can. Where is this valley? South of here, towards the coast. Look for the climbing path on the cliffs. It marks the start of the valley. And if you see my brother, knock him on his ass for making me worry. Strange lights off the coast. Whatever it is, it can't be good. I should look into it when I'm out that way. 
Save a life in the wild. Strength. Trying to see my s riding. It's Karja. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fashov. Stash. Thank you. 
choice but to head for that beach. guarding this side of the ferry either. Where are the Quinn? They're a landfall, I guess. I better go find it. Should be to the northeast.